Um, artists at the end of the garden was what he wanted for his family as they were growing up. This was what he, um, and he's always been so clear about the setting the, the 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 atmosphere of the place, the um, the warmth of the place, by you know, making sure he knows all of us um, by genuine interest in what we do. I think you're probably going to ask me things like why I got it, why I got into this, um, why I do it, uh, um, why I keep doing it, um, how did I get into it in the first place? Um, I'll try and come up with a few answers if I can. That might be interesting. I think. Sounds like you don't need me, I'll just leave you alone for an hour. <laughs> I think that uh, sometimes I think it's just uh, where uh, a place where like-minded people can go and play. <laughs> that I, ca I come here and I play. You know, okay, I may main maintain it, but you see my little attempts at mosaic and this sort of thing. I've certainly very much enjoyed uh, and been inspired by the people that I've met here. Yeah. Do you think people play enough in general? <laughs> no, I think they probably don't actually. No. I can almost feel Dickensian when I start making something after I've been flap flashing about on Facebook with something. You just have to really, really gear down. It's like a caterpillar tractor creeping along the forest floor. Just takes such a long time. You've got to push everything away, get a good story tape on or anything to just shut out the panic of the outside world. <laughs> people about um, a book I read last year uh, called The Craftsman by Richard Sennett. He's talking a lot about making as a process, how that, that makers um, are problem solvers but they're also problem discoverers. He, he talked about um, Stradivarius and the fact that his studio, although they carried on making great violins, the, be the best were made during his lifetime. It was actually about a person. It wasn't something they could bottle and keep. I love the words that come out that one doesn't, hasn't heard for ages. Um, for instance, someone comes out to vacation with an expression by Jiminy Cricket. Well, I'd never heard that for ages when I heard it a, a while ago. My Jiminy Cricket. I don't know where it comes from, I really don't. <laughs> I didn't switch it on. <laughs> Where is it, show me. 
I've got to show you where the switch is. <laughs> <laughs> you just tickle that little thing at the back there. Oh, okay. So it's a very light oh, touch. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Sarah Weatherall, the painter, Philippa Elan Gentle, here, who does her uh, jewellery, jewellery making, and she also teaches as well. And there's Margaret Proudfoot. Um, I have some of her sculptures at home, and I like them very much indeed. They're very special, and she's a, uh, a most remarkable artist. And I think you know that her work was exhibited and sold at the Royal Academy this summer. These are ties. Yeah, that looks like a really wide tie, but actually that, those bits get folded under. That shows you what different colours bleach out to. Everybody and everyone just talk, talks about Noel all the time. Well, I think he's probably, you know, he is the linchpin. Yeah, he's a bit of a one-off, isn't he? I think in his sort of fondness, hopefully, for us lot, but also, you know, his little mosaics here and there and his DIY handy skills. I've got two weeks. So I'm really busy. I can meet you at Loughborough Junction at about six and get out then. Yeah, then we could just go up. Oh, that would be fun. Whatever colours are. Let me have a look. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I was doing up buildings, up uh, doing up houses, uh, splitting them into flats sometimes, um, uh, restoring them, and I think I had seen um, a place in Rotherhithe that had been one of the earlier. <coughs> um, craft and small business um, setups, and I think I'd been rather inspired by that actually. Uh, when I came across this, I thought it could, you know, I could um, uh, introduce those ideas here, and and it would work, and that that would it would be a nice place to have as a community of artists. I had also. Um, developed an idea that I rather liked the, um, the art, uh, craft base of um, work. I think it was the small man that I uh, favoured and um, I was one myself and it all sort of fitted together really. Uh, I didn't quite know how it would work, would work out but uh, very quickly after we bought it people started turning up saying is the space here? Well of course there was space and so we were working on the house and on the factory. A couple of dance pots. But I don't think anybody really notices them now. This was one big open area. Uh, so I was just breathing naturally in the space because I thought it was fantastic. I, just, I think we just wanted to fill it. Me and Colin and we moved in, we just wanted to fill the space up. I had a full-time job originally when I first started here, but I gave that up, just got stuck in, didn't hold back. Whether it was, the work was any good, I'm not really sure about that, but it was just to say, it didn't really matter that in those days. If, oh, you know, you, you, the expectations that you, you have when you're younger, you know, are, are not part of my thinking now. I'm just more than happy to have working the way I work. And uh, But uh, so the clockwork figures, allows that, 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 that slight comfort zone of it not being too too demanding. All I could do is just uh, run a nice place and try and promote it in a quiet sort of way. And as Bridget said to me once, it's no, uh, it's no good pretending to be people we aren't. Um, um, 
just got to be yourselves and uh, and crack on with the way you think you you you, you do it best, really. I might as well show you this. Start off with these eggs. In fact, I'll show you the both of them. So I started in here, just mucking around with making a clump of bird's egg. And that um, straw reminds me of the mud when it comes out the blackbird's beak, you know. You kind of, one minute you're in outer space, the next minute you've gone inside the ear and you're inside a blood cell and it sort of looks the same as outer space. That's, that's my synopsis. I think you... You are your own person, aren't you? Like when you, whatever you do. But I think the the, the setup of as a, a, a clockwork has really suited the, the type of person I am. That so I've been able to um, do my thing, you know, without unnecessary grief. So to produce the work I've been able to produce over the years has been the, the response which. Uh, I've taken from being in clockwork, really, in the space I've got here. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, you can't. You know, we all, we all, we do, we don't tell Noel ever, but we always sort of say to when we talk about Noel, what a brilliant landlord he is. Created a situation where um, you feel comfortable with what you're giving him <laughs> and what you're getting out of it. What have I learned? Uh, there are a lot of different ways to live, um, and I can see that here, um, and that that's given me a lot of satisfaction, I must say. Um, looking into their lives, sh sharing their lives, a bit of their lives with them. Uh, if they can do what they like and get by doing so, that's wonderful. And they're happy, you know, that, that's the main thing. I think just chasing a career for its own sake is, um, I don't know, I think there are other ways of living really that are more, more satisfying. Mm -hmm. 